There was no degree in those days. Okay. When I passed 81 BSc Mathematics, the Computer Science Department didn't exist. In okay. the University of Pune, Mumbai. IIT had a little department, but then uh, they were not giving ComSci degree. It didn't mm -hmm. exist in those days. ComSci mm -hmm. started degrees in around 88, 89. Yeah, yeah I, I was also in NIT Surat. I was the second batch okay. of uh, computer science, right? And uh, ironically, again, in my case, I did my computer science, but I got into finance. My first job was in finance. Okay. And then Mac talked about the first wave. He was probably the first wave mm -hmm. of technology just coming into India. Yeah. By the time I had graduated and in around 98 was the second wave, which was uh, initiated by Y2K. Right? Okay. Uh, a lot of people now would not know, but at that time it was like the biggest uh, Armageddon scenario that, hey, the whole world is going to drop uh, airplanes are going to drop down because the true. y2k problem uh, will hit it's like that 2012 movie that came like in a similar sort of thing well, I think yeah, it was, it was like though. the problem was very simple right that computers couldn't handle 2000 right it, in the the year it had only two digits so okay. 97 98 99 it would have gone back to 00, zero. okay so what is 00, zero? Okay. Right. So just to solve that problem, millions and millions of dollars were spent and India rode that wave. Right. A lot of the services company, especially I was in TCS at that time. TCS, Infosys, uh, Infosys Wipro. Yeah, they all set up offshore that you talked about, right, uh, how the Indian IT industry evolved. That's where a lot of the offshore based services industry really grew. Okay. Very right? interesting. And in hindsight, you may say that Y2K, nothing happened, but nothing happened because there was this whole workforce in, yes. uh, solving all these problems. Right? None of the banking systems failed, none of the critical uh, operational systems failed because a lot of effort had gone in fixing that problem. Very simple problem, but that was the impact of that uh, problem. And the fundamental reason behind Y2K problem was that we had to fight. Nowadays, people don't care. Oh, I've got 4 gig memory. I was talking about 640 kilobyte of memory for the whole computer. You have to run Win Excel and Windows in the same machine. So we are looking at trying now. We used to call it fight for every byte. Mm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and that's when we used to say, "Oh, here, right? We don't need a 1900 everywhere. Just put the two digits. We'll figure it out. It's 1900." And that's not the problem, because this started in 1971 when IBM made the first uh, machines. They said, "Okay, let's get the score. Two numbers is good enough." Right, so seven up went now. Well, and in 95 96, people started realizing you know what, my annuity is a seven year fixed deposit maturing is going to go to zero one. Where is what is zero one minus 99 years? And then this, so this, there was panic oh, all around. Mm. No, but uh, that, it, was, it was a panic, it was, it was panic, but then they planned it. I mean, there was a huge planned. amount of uh, yeah. money and effort spent, right? Like, I read one stat as well where it, it said that during the 1990s, the entire industry's bandwidth can be compared to the same bandwidth that a teenager uses over a weekend exactly. now. Totally agree. 